Hi, welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Sabrina Register. We are at Pierce County's Environmental Services Building in University Place. And joining me right now is Robin Abel, president of Secure Your Load Foundation, formerly the Maria Federici Foundation. Thank yes. you so much for coming on the program today and talking Thank to you. us. It was seven years ago uh, when a piece of unsecured uh, furniture from an open trailer uh, left that trailer and smashed into Maria's windshield as she was driving home from work. Seven years ago, many people are familiar with the story who lived in the area, of course, seven years ago. I know that uh, myself included, many people like to know how Maria is doing today. Well, she's doing well. She has a home of her own and three dogs. It's like her built-in family. And uh, I think just like any parent, I want my child to be safe and happy. And I think that's where she's at now. Since that night, I know you have made it your mission to make sure that this doesn't happen to any other family. What, what has occurred in the last seven years for, for you to feel like you've accomplished that mission? Well, immediately following the incident, I was met with Norm Mailing, and he told me that what happened to my daughter wasn't a crime, and therefore she couldn't be a victim. And I think right off the bat, that kind of got my attention. What do you mean she's not a victim? So immediately um, I began to make the change and asked Norm to help me. And he said he would help me change the law here in Washington State if I would continue to stand behind and educate it. And so that's the teamwork that we created. He helped me change the law in Washington, making it a crime. And uh, now I'm moving on to national legislation. Before we talk about the national legislation, so after you changed the law here mm -hmm. in Washington State, uh, so that it would be a crime if you did not secure your load, you also wrote a book. I did. I took a, f a few months and uh, wrote a book called Out of Nowhere. And it really was because I found that when I went out and spoke to companies and telling the personal story, that made them care more. And so the book became a tool. So when I go out and speak, the story is there. And I believe that when people read about it and then they become uh, impassioned to know what can cause come out of that damage they care more and I, I ask people to step outside your comfort zone and tell a neighbor to secure their load and that's what I hope the book will do. Was it hard for you to, to write that book and to go around and speak to groups? It was hard um, but I felt like it was making such a great difference that I pushed through it and it's been very well received. Since writing the book and also changing the law here in Washington State, as you said, you're also working on some national legislation. So tell us I about am. that. I am. I'm very lucky. I um, actually drafted the legislation with the help of my sister-in-law, Kim Abel, and sent it off to Washington, D.C. Um, and really, it was the governor who got everyone's attention. She called a meeting of Patty Murray and Cantwell and a few offices together. And was it uh, February this year? Patty Murray's office called and they said, we would like to sponsor your legislation. It's called the Secure Loads Saves Lives Act. And um, I'm very optimistic. I called it a green safety bill because it not only saves lives, but millions of dollars in road cleanup. And um, so I think it's very important. And where are we with that legislation? Where are we? Well, nothing is done until President Obama would sign it, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. But where we are right now is they're gathering support. Um, the bill has not yet been introduced. And I'm hopeful that that will happen this spring. That was their original intent when they called me. And what have you heard in terms of support? Is it getting a support? lot of support? Well, they've had a lot of meetings uh, after the first day they called me. This was on a Friday. By Monday morning, Peter Kissinger, the president of AAA, had already been called. Um, and so it's kind of trickled down. I gave him my contact list and I said, you call everyone who's my supporter. And they started moving methodically through the list. So I think it's going well. So you feel confident? Uh, well, I'm always confident because no is just not an answer for me. <laughs> <laughs> so in addition to the national legislation, mm -hmm. uh, you've also been busy here at home working on making sure that people are securing their loads. I have. I, I think I've earned the title lately, the Secure Your Load Mom. <laughs> <laughs> people get my phone calls, what do we do now? Um, but it seems to be working. I was uh, made a call to Paula Hammond at Department of Transportation and she agreed to use their flashing signs and she contacted Department of Ecology, Ted Sturdivant, who was great, and then Chief Batiste got involved with Washington State Patrol, so during the month of May we're doing um, an emphasis patrol, all because these people care. Well, thank you so much, Robin Abel, Secure Your Load Foundation, formerly the Maria Federici, excuse me, Foundation. Thank you so much for talking to thank us and you sharing your story. And thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers.